what works, but you're blind picking it, and now you're countered by the Talia. Yeah, the Talia, I think, is just such a good answer into this draft. Four champs with dashes, right? And yeah. that is very difficult to deal with when you're laning against Zaya. I was assuming it was Core just actually getting up on top of him out of yeah. vision, perhaps, and forcing it, but um, that is... Oh, now he doesn't easy. have it for this play. So the Ignite's down. Jan's got the damage. First blood to Team Liquid. Uh, map, so this will be a free dragon picked up for Team Liquid. A solid start for the team, winning bot lane, getting that early dragon stacked. And they are definitely looking for this win. I mean, again, this advantage as Sintorin's going to be sneaking in here and they can potentially try to bait Pyoshi. Okay, Pyoshi Gnion playing for the play. Core goes for the engage. Snap in onto Tomo. Knocked up, flashes away. Heal as well with Chain of Corruption thrown. The Dignitas absorb the play, but it costs them a lot. Yeah, I mean, they were trying to bait that, but honestly, it was way worse for them. Oh, and now Pyoshi still wants it, says. Tomo, you walk back up. I'll punish you for that every day. Oh, that is rough for Dig. Oh, trying still to go going. In. There's no shot you get anything done here. Oh, they Leica. teleport out of Harry. All right, Canyon continue this. Feather okay. Storm with the recall gets Flash out of Santor. Position to contest. Yeah, not going to be able to get, really get anything done about that. Um, you know, Ghost Blade is completed uh, for Tomo, but the Gale Force being done already on the other side is really scary stuff. Again, Yon still having those summoners available. Okay, will not look for any eager plays, but actually he's invading on the blue buff right now. Dignitas will walk up. Cora JJ should see that Santorin's down here, and Pyoshik's waiting for him. Goes right in onto Jensen. Flash is available, but the double Cyclone. Oh, interrupted, but Santorin picked up as well. Double kill to Harry. Nice. Patient says, I'm going to go past Santorin onto the real target. Yeah, exactly. And then watch where he clones. He clones to over here because this is the only way that Jensen can really run. So Jensen, at times, there was uh, the earlier TL game against 100 Thieves earlier on in this split where Harry kind of just gets caught on a Bjergsen flick without a flash, without any sort of setup there. You know, these little mispositioning moments generally mean you automatically lose the team fight. But it also means uh, that when you are playing it out well, you're going to get more credit as well. You're going to be able to be in that position to potentially carry a game it's more in the area. This is all TL. They have got to be able to get forward and cover all these paths for different angles of flank, different angles from engage. Uh, because if the Varus or, or Jensen here get jumped on, they're, they're going to lose the fight pretty Speaking much Speaking of, Jensen does not realize he's in trouble. Harry with the combo! Oh. And a solo kill on a Jensen. Nicely done, just knocking him down easily, and now throwing the more. dive. He gets on the Tomo, chain of corruption. Do you take it? Shirkin backflip. <laughs> nah, not feeling it today, but Core JJ is flashing gauge, starts the fight, and Team Liquid commit underneath the turret. Bioshik pretty deep in there, and Zanthor will punish him. Look good to start, we'll trade at least Ignar for the jungler. Yeah, Pyoshik went deep and then Santorin kicked him even deeper there. They at least get one back, but it's a couple kills and it's a couple turrets, both going the way here of TL, so the gold lead will just extend. We're over three and a half. TL though, marching around the map, just knocking down tower after tower after tower. And there is the new. I wonder how many assists that That's, that's what I'm actually curious. It's probably, it's probably massively. Above or below 5%, as maybe Summit could get caught here. Flashes are going to over the wall, and all out says, you're not going anywhere. Santorin gets the kill credit. That was. A okay, he backflipped over the wall. Where is he now? Did he get into the brush? Santorin's going to walk up. Oh, he's still not spotted. Oh, they got him. And Harry almost picked off into the stasis, but with Ignar there, flashes away. Shuriken back. Harry's out. Santorin's locked now, but he gets away just in time. Glacial Fissure, prison onto Jensen. As the dragon now focused down from Team Liquid. The fight was dicey, but Dignitas might have bought enough space here. Harry can TP back in, though. The fight is not over yet. And Pyoshik now has his ulti here again. The dragon's not low. Harry does not have the perfect execution or the flash, but it's still another body on the board, and Dignitas do not have a lot of health bars to work with here. Armut in particular has the all out. Santorin's in, looking for the 50-50, but has to jump right on out. So that's Dragon Soul to Team Liquid. Team. Very close, Santorin has the opportunity. You didn't get the Dragon. Can you get the Baron? They got the Control Ward over. He's into the pit. He's stunned, oh. doesn't oh. steal it. Baron secured by Team Liquid and Pyoshik, but the all-out from Armut will grab the jungler. It is two kills for the Baron. Yeah, two kills for the Baron then. Yeah. Building towards Summer. And hopefully, you know, getting a 3-0 this weekend would put them in a really good spot. So 
Uh, they are still three over on the other side. So Dig is just gonna have to try to barrel in here. You've gotta flip the game on Elder. Gotta see if you can make something happen, but the flank is being set up by Piotr. Yeah, Canary is coming over Court too. Yeah, all the way up here, teleport in, and Jensen did not expect that angle. Tumbo engaged on, now they're looking at the front line, but they already took down Ignor. Yoshik's out of the back line. Team Liquid Harry is doing it. Double kill to the Akali, and this should be the game ending fight. They're teleporting into the base. Summit wants to end it now. Team Liquid will chase down Armut and Jensen to prevent them from backing and stopping this push. There's not a lot of hope left for Dignitas, and Team Liquid want to keep themselves in the playoff conversation. Armut focused down. Jensen often the carry for the team. Uh, Weaver's wall to safety. Maybe turns out to Core JJ. All right. Trades one back. It's another. Armut trades another as Pioshek comes out of the stasis in onto Jensen. The Nexus is falling though. Even if Jensen gets this, which he doesn't, Team Liquid making the playoff race interesting. Double kill to Pioshek as they will it take that up. Dignitas. I don't know if they can. Oh, wait a minute. Low. Jan has to do the Feather Storm flashes. Oh. Jan's got it. Team Liquid wins. Oh man, got dicey for a second there. Uh, TL were chasing for.